Alright guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. This is how you add water. The only requirement you really need is to have URP. If you don't want URP is, it's basically makes your game look 10 times better. If you don't know how to add it, just watch my tutorial, which will be linked in the description. So first of all, you want to go to the link, link in the description to this here. And you want to press add to my assets. And then once you've done that, go to window, package manager, and find it here. Make sure this package here is on my assets. And you just want to press import or download and import. So this is a simple water shader URP. So once that's all done, you will probably find a readme and stuff but you can just ignore that or once you find that readme you just want to delete that readme because it might give you a couple errors so just delete it doesn't really matter but now you want to type in demo up here and you want to find this one that says Igniter's code simple water shader demo and in it you will find the three water shaders that will come with it so this one this one and this one you can choose whichever one you like most but I I prefer this one so I'm going to go back to my main scene here and I just want to type in water block or yeah, water underscore mat here. Water underscore mat. And you'll find these three options. So whichever one you like most, you can just drag in. So you just want to create a plane. Here and just drag in on that material. So here we are, we have my water, and that is basically it. But if you wanted to go a step further and make it blue, if you go under, then you want to add, you want to just remove the mat the mesh collider from the plane and you want to add a box collider just here or just where you enter the jeepers I can't get that one just where you enter the water so it would be about here for me and you really just want to make it like as small as possible so it's more accurate and you want that box collider here to enable the mind guys so guys, that's it. That's how you add water. This can be just be for the decoration, or you could add a box collider to it. So remove mesh collider by clicking three dots, remove component, and add component box collider. And you just drag the box collider down until you get up to where you're all underwater so I would probably be like here and watch my zero gravity t tutorial and you can add the gorilla gravity zone so once you're in the water it's there's no gravity so you just add it and guys that's that's all you need to know about add adding water Reminder is to not have too many of these in your scene because they might be laggy 
And also, do not scale it like this, because it will break it, and you can see that it's all stretched out, which you don't want. And to only scale it using this grey box in the middle, so see it gets bigger. So yeah, that's just a reminder, don't have too many in your scenes, and if your game does get laggy because of this, watch some of my lag tutorials.